so up until the previous video we were getting the list of products but not updating the ui okay so let's do that in this video okay so for that let's open our product screen now over here i'll create a global variable that will store our products so it is gonna be a list of product and we can call it products okay and now i'll initialize it with a empty list okay now over here uh, where we are getting the value let's uh, store it inside this uh, variable and i also want to update the state so that according to that i can uh, means uh, remove the circular uh, indicator that is that comes on the screen okay so for that i'll remove this and give a bracket over here because we are gonna use a set state so set state and then inside this i'll update the value so products is gonna be value okay so we have done we are done with this now since we are using set state we will have to add this inside an if block so that it executes only once because if we don't do so it will keep on executing uh, constantly and and that many server requests would be sent and after a time it will hit a timeout and then there will be bugs okay so for that i'll create another boolean variable so bool first exec and this is true okay so if a first exec is true then only we call this uh, function uh, get products per seller so if if uh, if first first exec then we are getting the get products per seller okay and then i also want to make it to false so that it doesn't keep on executing after the first time so it becomes first exec is equal to false okay so let me just format this yes so now over here we are getting the products and storing it inside products variable so now over here what we can do is we can check if the products variable has some value and if it has some value then we don't want to show the circular progress indicator or the text that say, says loading products okay so for that i'll simply over here add an if if products dot length is uh, greater than zero okay no sorry if the uh, better than this it would be if uh, the products if the products is equal to null then only show this and this okay because if it is not null then we don't want to show this we actually want to show the products that we got okay so let me just format this and do a full restart okay so now if i click on this albert einstein nothing is happening okay so i think it got it got the product pretty fast anyways just to confirm i'll add a print over here okay so that i know that it actually got the products okay uh, let me do a full restart
ओके सो इट गॉट द प्रोडक्ट्स प्रिटी फास्ट दैट्स वाई वी वर नॉट एबल टू सी द लोडिंग आइकन बट इफ द नेटवर्क वॉज लिटिल बिट स्लो वी वुड सी दैट एंड एज सुन एज वी वुड गेट द प्रोडक्ट्स देन uh we would uh, then that would disappear okay so now that we have the products let's start designing it okay so for that i'm going to open the figma file yes so now you can see this is how our products uh, screen should look so we'll start from the top first is this uh, better buy and the image over here so if you would remember this is the exact same thing as we had in the seller screen so what i am going to do is i am simply going to copy from there and paste over here uh, before that i'll add comments to it loading widgets okay now over here after product let's add that so for that i'll go to the sellers screen and inside the scaffold inside the children we have this header so i'm simply going to copy it okay so it is still here copy it paste it over here okay so now we got it in the center and that is uh, because uh, the loading widgets were aligned to the center okay so then that uh, doesn't look good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap these two items in a separate column that will be a part of the bigger column okay so over here first i'll make the main axis alignment to start or simply just removing it will also do because start is what is set by default okay and over here the loading widgets i'll remove this because i don't need it and now over here i'll select these two then use the refractor tool which in my condition is shift option r okay no refractoring available great so i'm going to create a column myself then uh, add children okay and then inside this i'm going to add these two items over here okay now let me just format it yes okay so over here you can see if the product says null then only this column will be visible okay and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply main axis as a center to this item okay so that it doesn't hinder the parent column okay so over here main axis alignment so again over here i'll use the main axis alignment enum and i want to make it center okay so now this issue is solved and we also have our starting part cleared okay sorted out so we have this now let's redesign this so we have the products now we just simply want to display it like this okay so for this uh, i can either use a row or a list view so row using row is uh, very similar to how we use the column while displaying the sellers so over here instead of that i am going to use a a list okay so over here list of items let me check if there was some title no okay so over here it is simply going to be a list view i think i'll use builder because why not list view dot builder okay and then it has an item builder so it will definitely because it is a builder it will definitely take a context okay and it will return a item so the item is going to be a container for now okay a container means uh, just like a placeholder i am adding it 
okay so i think this takes something more than build context yes so over here in the documentation you can see it takes the context as well as the index okay so index so now the error should be gone now we need to add a few more things to this builder okay there are a few required things let me just go through all yes so i need to add the item count so the item count is gonna be products dot i think it is products dot length yes so i always get confused between length and size okay so now over here we have this now in this container i am simply uh, gonna write like uh, height is around 50 okay width is around 50 and a margin okay and the margin is gonna be edge insets dot all 5.0 okay let me just format this yes so once we have formatted this uh, let's see how it looks Okay, so it is giving us a bunch of errors let me check okay because we need to give it a has size okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it with a sized box okay and the height is gonna be let's say 50 okay so we are getting the container over here we are not able to see because no color is there so i think i'll add some color colors dot pink okay yes so we are getting it over here so you can see these are our items okay now over here uh, this is like actually a particular column over here I'll increase the height so it becomes little bit more clear yes so you can see these are uh, like a vertical uh, list but I want a horizontal list because the design suggests horizontal list so over here inside this I think we have a axis or scroll direction yes so we have a scroll direction and it takes an axis I guess yes it takes an axis which is again axis is an enum and then horizontal okay so you see it is not possible to remember all the things you just need to have good amount of practice to figure out which one it is okay so now you can see it is in uh, it is in a row okay so now uh, in the next video we shall design each item Okay, so this was for the video. Thank you.